still, let me check this one, whether the right thing was done. And that's the end of it. The inspector inspects every single building because that building, every building is supposed to be covered by an installation completion certificate. And that is what the distribution utility companies, ECG and NEPCO, requires to connect that particular facility to the grid. So even if it is a story building of apartments, four apartments, and they are, they are going to request for four separate meters, each of these apartments will be covered by an installation completion certificate. Right. Now, you, you talk about being a two-step approach. And so after the inspector, you also, the Energy Commission, would also inspect. Now, does the Energy Commission inspect all buildings inspected by these inspectors? Okay, so I get the point. So what we do, we actually sample. And uh, we, when we find that an inspector has violated some aspects of the law, we assume that it is the same attitude he has uh, perpetrated in all his installations and he's expected to go back and do corrections on all. Yes, so if we uh, we go to a place like uh, Dodua and pick the forms from there, there are about maybe 15 inspectors in Dodua. Okay. Our, the commission will visit maybe five installations of one inspector. You visit five in, in, installations of another inspector. You realize that those who are not complying with the law, it runs through their five installations that you inspect. And so he is mandated to go back and do repair work mm. on all his So in, in, in effect, there's been instances where some of these inspectors did not do the inspection yeah, and yet course. certify that it has been of done. Of course, of course. We have redrawn licenses. Some people have been permanently uh, 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 sanctioned where they cannot... Uh, come back and be electrician. Some of them, they have to go back through the certification process and write the examinations and come. Some of them have been, their licenses have been redrawn for over a year. Yes, that's a, there are instances like that. All right. Now, uh, just before we move on to our other guests, you see, the, the purpose of all of these questions is that we want to create a certain comfort for the average Ghanaian that if you're moving into a home, if you have either bought a home or you've rented a home and you are moving in, you don't have to worry that there is a risk of fire because of inferior cables, okay? Now, yesterday, you recall that we asked our audience whether any of them, those who are constructing, you know, building their own homes and so forth, whether any of them can testify to an electrician who, following their work, paid themselves for, for an inspector to come and inspect their work. And we got no, none of them. In fact, people came back and said, never heard of this. I didn't even know that my electrician was supposed to do this. Okay. So I will give you a background. When the law was uh, entered into, uh, when the law entered into force in 2012, mm -hmm. we rolled, we developed a guideline and a roadmap as to how we were going to implement it. So we piloted it in 10 districts of, uh, in the country, mm -hmm. distribution utilities. And that is where at that point, they were insisting on receiving the installation completion certificates. Mm. So if you get people, somebody around that time, who was not in any of these 10 districts, that person won't know. After that, we did what was called the partial implementation, where it was ruled out nationwide, and CWP, that's the electricians, mm. were inspecting the, their own work and the work of other electricians. It was not until 2017 that inspectors came onto the scene. Mm. Remember, as at 2012, there was nobody who was registered or certified. So we're now building the numbers. Mm -hmm. And so at 2017, we had about 8,000 electricians. Mm. And now we have 11,000 electricians, 11,310. We are still building the number of electricians. And so that is how there's this roadmap Mm. that we are following. And so as if we have somebody prior to 2017, it's likely that the person won't know. But after 2017, definitely the person would uh, uh, have come into contact with an inspector. Does this not mean that if we say that pro properties that are 10 years and over should you know, uh, go through testing, are we not leaving a whole gap or properties that's you know during your piloting stage 
would not have benefited from this new arrangement? Are we not leaving them yes. out? It is not, uh, we are not saying that if it is, uh, if a facility is younger or not up to 10 years, you can't inspect. We are only insisting and going by the law. Those other ones, that's why publicity is programmed such as this. Because remember, when your facility is wired by somebody who is not certified, because the person knows that it's not regulated, the likelihood that the materials in there are substandard, the likelihood that the wiring was done wrongly, and even can contribute to excess electricity consumption. Mm. When the wiring is not done well, especially the ethan system is not done properly, mm. it can also contribute to excess electricity consumption. So it's somehow the responsibility uh, of the facility owner in, in order to ensure that his facility is safe, the occupants and the users of the facility are safe, is re their responsibility to ensure that the facility is safe. Even if after six months you detect something, you need to call for an inspection to be done on the facility.